This is Justin Town Zero, we're at Amoeba Records, and uh, this is uh, what's in my bag. Well, when John Henry died, he lay looking at the sun, he said, Lord. The first thing is uh, the best of NRBQ, Peekaboo. Greatest bar band that's ever walked the face of the earth, and possibly one of the greatest bands with, uh, that's ever walked the face of the earth, and one of the most unappreciated bands that's ever walked the face of the earth. This is their greatest, and I think it's uh, yeah, 1969 to 1989, which is a pretty good uh, span for a band. Not to mention that they're still around. Next, I got a Dr. John's Gumbo. Down the road, from a dark rope I know. It has a, a wonderful version of Junko Partner on it, which is one of my favorite junkie songs. And I do like junkie songs. The next two, I guess I can do together because they're both the staple singers. Oh, I, oh, I know I've been changed. Not only because they're uh, one of my favorite singing groups, but also because Mavis Staples is the sexiest woman that's ever walked the face of the earth, without question and uh, Pops plays a hell of a, a great tremolo guitar, and always tremolo guitar, I do believe. Don Covey. The Rolling Stones would not exist without Don Covey. And I believe that wholeheartedly. If you get his early stuff, it will, uh, it gives, uh, it gives Mick away, and Keith. Magic Sam, West Side Soul. Like that same old place, sweet home Chicago. Chicago man. I do believe he was shot in the streets by a jealous lover, which makes him cool in my book in any, any case period. But uh, one of my favorite blues records, I got this from a guy named Eric Amble uh, when I was about 17 years old, and I've been searching for a copy of it ever since. And I found it here. Imagine that. The Roger Miller Genius box set. Man of means by no means, king of the road. Uh, one of my favorite songwriters of all time, a very uh, strange man, known for uh, really like fantastic speed benches that uh, led to uh, wonderful, wonderful kind of crazy lyrics. And I'd say uh, last but definitely not least, I've never seen this on vinyl, so this made me absolutely excited like a schoolgirl when I saw this. This is Roscoe Holcomb's High Lonesome Sound. He was the uh, absolutely the greatest uh, uh, claw hammer um, period banjo player I've ever heard. One of the most amazing things is he claw hammered the banjo with uh, finger picks on, which I've never heard anybody do. Fastest claw hammer player I've ever heard and uh, has the highest voice I've ever heard. Him and Ralph Stanley would have a, we could have a battle, but I think uh, Roscoe might win. I do believe. That was quick, but that was, uh, that's what's in my bag. Bye.